Hi guys, this is Egwick, and today I'm gonna teach you how to play Omen on Haven. This guide will include essential one-way smokes, great paranoia spots, and aggressive teleport setups. Before the video starts, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and helped me reach 100 subscribers. It really does mean a lot. If you enjoy this type of content or if you'd like to see more, please do consider subscribing as it really helps out my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start out with a smoke for A short. All you have to do is place your smoke on top of this box. You want to make sure that the smoke is as close to the corner as possible so that you maximize the width of the smoke. The best place to play for this smoke is in sight, near green box, or towards CT. And this is what it looks like for people pushing up short. Next is a smoke for A long. Like the smoke for A short, all you want to do is place your smoke on top of this box. This is a great smoke because people are generally going to look towards heaven or towards sight, and you can take advantage of the chaos. Next is a smoke for CT that's great on post-plant situations. You want to let your smoke hang on this line and not the line above it. As if you let it hang on the upper line, then your smoke will be a little too high. Next is a smoke for C Link. It's pretty similar to the previous smoke, except there's only a one line to hang it off of. The best place to play when using this smoke is in Gong or in backside of B. And this is what it looks like for someone pushing in from C Link. You can use the same smoke for A Link and it's the exact same lineup. Next is a one-way smoke for garage doors. You want to align the blue orb with this plank over here, and make sure that the green arrow is on top of the door. This smoke will catch anyone that's rushing into garage, and you can opt to play from either window or from the entrance into C. Next is a one-way smoke for garage from C site. This smoke is great on post-plant situations, and it's also similar to the smokes for CT and the smokes for C-Link and A-Link. Next is a one-way smoke for CT from C site. You want to align the blue orb with this line over here, and make sure that the green arrow is in the ground. This is a great smoke if you're playing near green box, and it also helps set up the person near garage. Next is a smoke for sea long. You want to make sure that the bottom part of the smoke is around half of this block, and that the green arrow is inside the wall. This is a great smoke for long, as they really won't be able to see you unless they swing wide. Lastly is a situational smoke for the long player on post plant. Like the other smokes, all you have to do is put this smoke on top of this box and now you have a great one way into spawn. Next, let's move on to some great paranoia spots. If you're the A side player, you can blind enemies pushing in from A long from behind the green box. When playing retake on A, you can blind enemies playing in sight and close right so that it gives your team a better chance. If you're the B side player, playing from backside is probably your best option when they're rushing in through mid. 
Using your blind just as they enter sight is probably your best option. Alternatively, you can use your blind to make an aggressive push into mid. If you hear them rushing through garage, you can use this blind to slow the enemy team down and help your C player. If you lose control of garage, blinding from outside window is a good idea as long as you can time it properly. You can also opt to aggressively flash out of garage for some easy picks, but keep in mind that this is a really risky play. If you're the C player, you can blind enemies pushing in from C long from behind this box. From that same point, you can also blind people pushing in from garage. When playing retake on C, you can blind enemies playing in sight and on platform from this spot near garage. When attacking A site, you can blind enemies playing in short from this spot in A long. If you manage to sneak into this cubby, you can blind people playing close right and behind green box. You can blind enemies in A link and sight from this spot outside B. Alternatively, you can also blind C link and close left from the same spot. You can blind close left and platform from this spot in cubby in C long. Alternatively, you can also choose to blind close right and those playing behind green box. Blinding. Teleporting into a heaven in a post plant situation is a good way to catch enemies off guard. Be sure to get the timing right because if you teleport too late, you're just going to be giving the enemy a free kill. Teleporting across sight lines, especially after you've been revealed, is another way to catch enemies off guard. You can teleport across a lobby to avoid getting seen by the player playing in a long. If you want to peek said player, you can use this double teleport setup for an unexpected angle. Using a double smoke setup in B, you can teleport into your smoke in A link for a nice flank into A site. Teleporting to and from Gong is also a really good idea as it confuses the enemy players due to the abundance of verticality in B site. You can use this blind and teleport setup to get you in garage and peek the player playing close. Using a double smoke setup in C, you can teleport into your smoke near logs for an easy angle into the back line. Teleporting from garage into CP is a good way to avoid being seen by the player in B. On defense, especially if you have an op, you can reposition from platform onto site so you can safely re peek C long again, as Omen's teleport is out of sound range for the players in C long. Abusing the verticality in B site can get you a lot of nice picks. I like to op window at the start of the round and drop down if ever I'm in danger. When retaking a site, you can use a falling smoke from heaven and teleport into the smoke to surprise enemies playing in sight. Alternatively, if hell is clear and you don't think anyone is playing close, you can also teleport from heaven into sight. Lastly, using the blind and teleport strategy on haven gets even better when you make use of the verticality of the boxes littered around the map. Now let's talk about how to use your ultimate on Haven. In late round scenarios, you want to be using your ultimate to out-rotate your enemies. Watch 
By getting to a site faster, you're able to position yourself better and have more favorable trades. I know exactly. When playing retake on C, I like to teleport into C long as people usually don't expect you to go there and you can also check for a C long player if ever someone is there. Teleporting into heaven or hell is always a good idea, just be sure to mix it up and keep your enemies guessing, as vertical audio in Valorant can be a little misleading. Last but not the least, a common spot to teleport to is in CT. Use this teleport to catch rotations from other sites and secure your team more kills. And that's it. If you've made it this far into the video, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and thanks again for 100 subscribers. If you do enjoy this type of content or if you'd like to see more, please do consider subscribing as it really, really helps out my channel a lot. Thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.